Let's take a look at tomorrow's front pages, and we'll start with the Daily Mail. And they are running with this. Rob, free speech to get legal supremacy. Free speech will be given legal supremacy over other rights to stop debate from being eroded, according to Dominic Rob, the Justice Secretary today. In an exclusive interview with the Mail, the Deputy Prime Minister warns that democratic debate is being whittled away by wokery. Meanwhile, front page of the Daily Telegraph, Russians prepare to scale back invasion, a story I'll be discussing with Miriam very shortly. And PM claims Sunak snubbed his plan to keep energy cap. More trouble between number 10 and number 11 by the looks of it. The independent evidence of mass graves in Mariupol, Ooh. say the UN. What a horrific story that is. The Guardian, deadliest, deadliest single attack in Ukraine, killed 300. Authorities in Mariupol have said as many as 300 people were killed in a Russian bombing of a theatre last week, putting a death toll for the first time on the deadliest single attack since Moscow invaded Ukraine a month ago. The FT weekend. Russia says Ukraine war in new phase as focus turns to Donbass. The Daily Mirror, sling your hook. Boris Johnson last night supported the growing calls for shameless p and chief Peter Hebblethwaite to step down. Maybe he should walk the plank. The <laughs> Times on Saturday, Russians retreating to eastern Ukraine. Kremlin will focus on Donbass after setbacks. Daily Express, J.K. Rowling hits back at ranting Putin. The story we'll cover uh, shortly. In fact, those are your front pages.